Hi friends, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to do something different. I realized that I've been just primarily talking at the camera and it can get boring for both you and me. So I wanted to try something different. So in today's video, we're actually going to solve a coding SQL problem. Um, some of you know that I, I work at Google and I've been here for about two years. And before joining Google, I used to interview every year outside <laughs> to like keep my interview skills fresh. But it's been a while, well, two years since I haven't interviewed because obviously like I'm super happy at Google. So I don't feel, I don't see the need. I don't want to leave. That's just to, <laughs> just, just to put it straightforward. Um, but I also feel like back of my mind, I'm always thinking like, I'm going to forget how to, the interview muscle that I've built over the last few years, I'm going to lose it. So, so I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to, do some lead code problems on, with all of you here on YouTube, um, so both of us can I both of us can get something out of it. I get to keep my interview skills fresh, and you get to see how I solve the problems. And hopefully, while I'm solving those problems, you get to learn something from uh, me me doing it. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video, but make sure to give this video a thumbs up because I am about to embarrass myself on YouTube. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't get stuck, but this video, I'm gonna try to start with an easy question. So I increase my embarrassment level slowly on here. <laughs> but yeah, give this video a thumbs up because it will make me feel better and um, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see me embarrass myself more solving coding problems. I will primarily be focusing on SQL and Python, starting with SQL today. So I'll do like a SQL series. So I'll jump from starting from easy SQL questions and then I'll jump to uh, medium and then hard. And I'm primarily using lead code for that. I don't have a premium subscription, so I won't be able to see like uh, the company, the big tech questions, questions we got at big tech, uh, but we'll still just like pick whatever information is available, whatever questions are available, problems that are available to solve with the free edition. So with that, let's get started. Cool. So now we are, so what I, all I did is I logged into my lead code and then I clicked on problems. And when I go to problems, I hear click on database because that's what I want to do today. Um, and it will pull up like bunch of database related questions um, that could be solved in either SQL or other scripting questions, so scripting languages. Um, I'm gonna pick an easy one, which I know will be 100% will be SQL. So this one combined two tables. Uh, seems pretty easy, right? Like just combining two tables. I don't think it will be that embarrassing even if well, if I get stuck, it will be really embarrassing. <laughs> but if I solve it, then I will feel great. <laughs> okay, so let's click into this question. Um, okay, so combine two tables. They basically gave me a SQL schema. There are two tables. One is person, the other is address. In person, the table names is person ID, first name, last name, then the type of the columns. And then in address, the column name is address ID, person ID, city, state, type. And then in person ID, the primary key is, in person table, the primary key is person ID. And in address table, the primary key is the address ID. Okay, so the question which I'm gonna scroll down. So the question is, write a SQL query for a report that provides the following information for each person in the person table regardless if there is an address for each of those people. Okay, that's a tricky way to ask a question. So obviously we want a SQL for each person in the person table, regardless if there is an address for each, each of those people. Okay, so what they are saying, if there is no address, they still want the names and um, leave the address information blank, but they still want the name list, okay. So let's get started. So I think this is going to be just a two table join, like exactly the question says. So I'm gonna start off with just copy paste. This is the information that they're looking for. So I'm gonna write my select, paste this, and then my from table, since they are looking for the, the person names, we'll start with the person table. So I'll say from person, call it P, and then it's looking for a left join. That's, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna say address and I'm gonna call it D. And then 
the the common information the common 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 column between the two is person id so i'm going to join it on person id so i'll do p dot person id equals d dot person id okay and then in my select i want to make sure i am abbreviating it correctly and then this is coming from the person table, first name and last name. And then the city information is going to come from address table. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Should we run the code? What do you think? So let me move my computer here. Okay, so I'm gonna run the code. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Please don't let me embarrass myself on YouTube. And I'm gonna hit run code. Okay, it's running, it's running. Yay, it's accepted, yay. <laughs> I did not embarrass myself that much. Okay, so the input, this is what I gave and the output is first name, last name, city, state, values is, this is the value that they were, um, this is the value that my code gave and this is what they were expecting. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna submit it, so then it, that means it saves it. I think that's what it means. So I'm gonna submit it. Runtime 3.54 milliseconds, faster than 32% of my, 32%, okay. Not bad, given this was my first question that I submitted, okay. I hope this was useful, the key here when you, I was reading the question, you probably saw that I read it a couple of times. The key here was when they were saying that this is coming from a person table, regardless. So the regardless basically gave me the hint that this is a left join uh, because they don't care if the address is null. They just want whatever, um, whatever information is available for whoever um, person. So that's why I did the left join. I think I'll do more of these and eventually like step up from like easy, from easy to medium and then medium to hard. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.